grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, dear brothers and sisters. Today's Gospel invites us to reflect on the Jesus question, Who do you say I am? When Jesus was becoming famous in the Judean countries, people started to think that his personality reveals that he was going to become the political messiah. He had power over the people, power over the elders even, and the religious leaders. So everyone thought that he is going to be the expected messiah. And even in the court of Herod Antipas, there was a rumor that John the Baptist was risen again. And many people were thinking that it was the Elijah, because it was the thinking among the Jewish community that Elijah, the prophet, who went to God, he was the champion of Yahwehism, will come back during the messianic time. So everyone was thinking that Jesus was going to become a great messiah of the concept of Jesus, of concept of the people. What was the concept? People thought and were expecting a political messiah who redeems them from the Roman Empire. So Jesus wanted to clear the misconceptions of the people and of the elders who are all thinking of him that what he is going to be. So he asked the disciple, whom do you say I am? St. Peter, as head of the family, said to Jesus, You were the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. And Jesus, confirming the words, said to them, Do not reveal this to anyone. And also cleared their doubt. He was not the Messiah that people are thinking going to redeem this world with the political power but rather going to redeem this world with the divine power. The divine power is not destroying one political party against the another political party. It is destroying the evil, the root of all the evil, the root of all the jealousy, the root of all the greed for the political power. So he is going to be the spiritual redeemer, the spiritual redeemer will cause his own body for suffering. The spiritual redemption will be done through the messianic suffering and cross. By the messianic suffering and cross, people will be redeemed. And the ruler of this world will be nailed on the cross. And all the sins of the world will be nailed on the cross. Whoever looks at this cross will have redemption. So this is the plan of the Messiah. So the expectation or the response from the people is that they have to believe in this Messiah for redemption. 
the disciples took up their cross and followed Jesus they had the spiritual redemption we are also expected to follow the footprints of the disciples of Jesus Christ following him to take up the cross and follow him taking up one's cross and follow Jesus for what for the spiritual redemption if we want to have spiritual redemption for our soul we have to go to jesus go to his cross with a contrite heart with remorse conscience and we have to express our own hearts for grace and mercy we have to declare our own sins then we will get the forgiveness our souls will be healed our bodies will be healed our life will be healed we will love life life in full let us pray heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us lord thank you lord for giving us the greatest gift of the messiah whoever looks at this messiah will have life freed from the devil freed from the root of the evil lord give us the grace to go to jesus like millions of the saints who followed jesus and freed from the bonds of this world freed from the root of the evil lord said your holy spirit so that we may be attached to jesus and abide with him to receive life life in full we ask this through christ our lord amen